Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in social media marketing, we will discuss about personal branding. What is personal branding? What you need to do? Create a personal brand. You are, you may be a professional. You are leveraging social media platform to drive traffic for yourself, deliver solution, and create that brand identity for yourself as a brand, as an individual brand. And what you need to do? How you need to do? How you can go about doing it? Let us check them out. What is personal branding in the first place? You are there as an individual and there are two other points that are associated with it. That is how you see yourself and how others see you. How you see yourself versus how others see you. You may see yourself as an expert in a particular subject. Say for example, you are a digital marketing expert, that is how you perceive yourself, but that is not what is important. What is important is how others see you, how others perceive you, that is very important. And when that impact is created, say for example, if others see you as an authority on social media or an authority on digital marketing, then your brand identity is created because people perceive you as a social media marketing expert, as a digital marketing expert. Because when people trust you and that comes from the deliverables that you offer, the solution that you offer. When you deliver a solution to a particular customer or to a lot of customers, they actually become your advocate. They actually become your sales representatives and they actually promote you. Say, this person is a social media marketing expert. This person is a digital marketing expert. When that happens, your brand identity is created out there in the market. Why use social media for branding? Social media is huge. There are millions and billions and billions of people are there on social media. And that is where you need to actually create awareness and increase visibility. Brand awareness is what is created on social media. You have a website, you optimize the website, you create social media pages, you optimize the social media pages, then you have a nice banner, the logo, you write about yourself, you write about your credentials, your past performance, your case studies, you invite users, engage with them, you create an awareness. And that is actually how you go about doing it. Visibility is created when you actually engage with the users with the content that you publish on social media. Then brand loyalty actually comes into picture when you deliver a solution to a customer. You are engaging with the users, a user comes, say I want this solution, you deliver the solution, you meet the expectations, you delight the customers customer is extremely happy, they will give the testimonials, you will get the credentials, the case studies are built and based on the case study you actually get more and more customers and this customer is actually going to become your advocate and that is how the brand loyalty is created. High conversion, the brand loyalty created, you get more and more high conversions, more and more customers. More and more customers, you create the brand identity that is required for you as a professional at a personal level. And this is actually how you can go about doing it and this is the reason why you need to use social media for personal branding. How to build a personal brand? How you should go about doing it? Choose your expertise. You know exactly what you are and who you are and what you can do, how you can do. What is your expertise? That is very important. Play to your strengths. Then optimize the presence in terms of websites, in terms of social media presence. Optimize the presence. Quality content. When you have social media pages, with related to the kind of expertise that you have. You have a content strategy. You need to publish high quality content. In terms, talk about yourself, talk about your past performance, talk about your credentials, talk about your case studies, talk about your customers. Tell them, these are my customers. They are Fortune 500 com companies. This is the case study that I have done for a particular company. This is my past performance. This is my testimonials. This company, I have delivered them this solution and they are saying this about me. You actually create 
high quality content that is extremely important to get more and more customers. Then the connection is very important. You connect with the users by providing them the quality content. When people read about your content, the case studies, the testimonials, the credentials, then they trust you, they believe you because you are showing them the past performance. You connect with them and you sell yourself, you sell your brand. And this is how actually it goes about creating a personal branding on social media. Some of the tips to create a personal brand, focus and back your expertise. The more you focus and back your expertise, the more the important for you. You need to tell your customers what you can deliver and that is extremely important. Credentials matter. Your past performance, your credentials play a very, very important role in convincing the customers, in giving them the confidence that you can deliver them. Build relationship, extremely important. When you actually have a customer, you have delivered a solution, that is not the end of it. That is actually the beginning of it. You need to make sure that you build relationship with them continuously and consistently and ensure that you know you stay in touch with them for a longer period of time and that is how relationships are built and that is how personal branding is created because when you are actually engaging with your customer continuously they'll talk more about you they'll remember you that this person has delivered me this solution and it has benefited me this this way when you are not in touch with your customers after you deliver, they will forget about you. Stay continuously, con consistently with the customers, existing customers or past customers, build relationship. Deliver on promises. When you acquire a customer, when you tell them, this is what I can do for you, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, customer believes you, customer trusts you and customer gives you the project. And when if you cannot deliver on what you have promised, you are doomed. You are going to lose your customer. You will be frustrating your customer. Your customer will be very unhappy with your performance because you promised them something, but you did not deliver them. Delivery on promise is extremely important. If you promise, deliver. If you cannot deliver, please do not promise. That is not going to work. Deliver and promises helps you build a personal brand and that is the ultimate point. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what is personal branding, why is social media for personal branding, how to build personal branding and of course tips to build a personal brand. Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you again.